Uh, this evening, what we're going to uh, deal with is that C patterns that uh, uh, Master Denson drew on the board. We're going to work on it today, but we want to work on a few things. We want to put you in a position where you can't go backwards. Because a lot of times when attacks come to you, you usually try to step away from you're trying to move. We're going to have, we hope, uh, depending on if everybody practice, we may have three different stations. We're going to have them set up so that there are chairs, you know, four chairs to act as a wall. So the question is, what do you do when your back is against the wall? And what we're going to do is we're going to try to show you uh, that simple step of stepping out. Uh, we're going to we're going to put you in position to uh, to do your moves. We're going to request though that you demonstrate moves from each of your individual systems. I always go through this because you're just too many. You're too diverse. If I come and try to teach you something, I'm teaching you the end of the philosophy and not the building blocks that lead up to it. So a lot of times, if we put you in the position to escape and be successful, the next thing we say, we want you to do that thing that you do. And we're going to have you do these moves. We're going to have you, everybody attack at least three <coughs> times with each hand, with your left hand and with your right hand. But you cannot repeat the move. In other words, if you go to the left and you do this, you can't go to the left again and, and do this. We want you to try to explore the different techniques and things that the instructors have taught you in your uh, various systems. Uh, and we want to see how you work. A lot of times when you have your back against a wall, it could be against a, a door, a car, a fence. Uh, you could be a, a, a person shopping, coming out and somebody has pinned you against your car in the supermarket. You could be waiting for some place and your back is against the wall. The escape patterns for that is for angles of committed energy coming straight down the center or to the half angles. You can slide along the wall, but you would still have an obstacle at your back. So we're going to try to get you in a sense where we bring up your, your crises and survival mechanisms and try to uh, get you to uh, escape. So what we'll do is that we'll have two different things out here for you. And uh, my thing is that I thought I was scheduled for 6 o'clock instead of 5. But uh, Pastor Denson put me up here early. I'm going to get this man. Okay. So the boundaries are this V pattern where you must stay within the, within the boundaries of the line. You can't cross out the line to get out of it. We want you to make your escape so that you're within the boundaries of the line. We're going to make the lines wide enough so that you will not have to worry about the line of We're going to have you stand with the chairs right behind you so that you can't go backwards. And we may put somebody in there. If we start seeing you trying to push the chairs over, we'll put somebody back there so they won't move. You'll have one rule is that you have to step through the strike to do it. And you have to play the tag game by touching the person on the shoulder. We will put a spot down here. Like this. Where you will stand on. And then we're going to have your attacker only about three and a half feet away from you. So this is very close. We hope to bring up some of the panic in you if this person gets after you. All right. What's going to happen is you're going to have a person standing there. They're going to be trying to tag you. We don't want you punching people. No punching, I meaning no, no contact. What we're going to have you do is try to touch the person on the shoulder. If I can touch you on your shoulder, that means that I can hit you in the face. Is that right? Sir. Sure. Because Sorry. what? Your shoulders sit behind your head. If I get that far and touch you, then you're hit. Few things we need to get, uh, I always go over these things first. The two sections or two systems that we deal with the human, 
One is called the constructive center, which we call. That means that everything at the width of your eyes running down your body makes you human. Everything that makes you human lies within the width of your eyes. Your brain, your eyes for interpreting the environment, your nose for respiratory, your mouth for digestion, communication, and respiratory, your throat with the same functions, the fuel tanks, the lungs, the pulp, the heart, the stomach, the liver, the large and small intestines, reproductive organs. All of them lie right here. You have spent all of your life from the time you were born until this very moment protecting only that area. That's all you've done. If something happens, the first thing you do is curl up that area, turn it, try to keep it from danger. That's what we call the constructive center. When people are attacking you, most of the time, usually, that's where they're trying to hit you. Your hands are for manipulation of the environment, putting things into place. Your legs and feet are for mobility. So with that simple thing, we're going to try to work on that to do avoidance of getting yourself hurt. What will occur is, you'll bow and you do your courtesies, the person will try to touch you on the shoulder. They'll touch you on the shoulder. If he hits me on the shoulder, that means that he literally has hit me in the face. What we want you to do, if you're going to your right, we want you to step out with your right foot. If you're going to the left, we want you to step out with your left foot. So that when the person comes to strike, strike, you will be here in this position. You've escaped it. You've escaped it, right? You're out of the way. Yes, sir. We are put you in what we call do position. When you get in this position, this is when you do what it is, that thing that you do with your system. We're not going to tell you what to do after that because then we would be reducing you to just minimal things. When you get here, whatever you do next, however you work it, it all depends on you. We're going to do two strikes. The first one will always be the straight one where you'll move outside. If they throw a hook at you, you'll be able to stop it on the inside. If they throw the same hook again, you'll stop it here. The next time you'll step away. Each time when you get in this position, we expect you to begin to do your moves. Now, I didn't have rubber knives and brain to make you get really panicky or anything like that. But we want you to pair off, and we don't want you to, to pair off with people from your school. Because you guys know each other. And we don't want you to pair off with gender like female, female, male, male. Because most of the time, females are not going to be attacked by another female. They're going to be attacked by a male. So what we would like you to do, and some of the children, you're not always going to be attacked by somebody your size. You may be attacked by somebody that's taller than you. See, I mean, mature citizens, I don't call you seniors, but mature citizens, you may be attacked by younger people for some reason. We don't know. So we want you to mix up uh, and, and into various groups. So we have three different locations, and there will be instructors at each location to walk you through it. Now, we don't want you to do it. We want you to have a lot of fun trying to tag the person, but there were rules that you will follow. And they'll go tapping Tap them on the shoulder only. The attacker. Once you get them going, you can do any move you want, but you cannot repeat the same move. Don't do the same move four times. You haven't explored any of your of your uh, teacher's teachings, all right? Okay, let's have people go to this spot, this spot, and that spot. Come on. It's going to be hard. Come on. Find a teacher that you like. She'll go with you, Mark. I'm not here with anybody, so I'm here. <laughs> <coughs> All right? What you do is that you can line it. Once this person will do it, you'll get three attacks with each hand because of the size you want to get you through it. You get three attacks with each hand, and then the person that attacks becomes the person on the spot. So you just rotate through it that way, okay? Practice your system. Do what it is that you do, okay? The first one you're going to do is the outside move, where you'll be on the outside of the person. Excuse me, just for a minute. Let me explain the difference when we talk about inside and outside. When we talk about being outside, what we're talking about is that if the person strikes you, you are to the outside of them, meaning that you have four weapons, two hands and two legs, 
against their two weapons. You can tell this usually because you can see their ear and their back. It's what we call an ear technique. If you do the move and you find yourself looking straight down at their nose, that means you are on the inside, and what you have is that you have four weapons against four weapons. And then it depends on who is the fastest, the strongest, and the most proficient in their system. So at first we want you to have the advantage by putting your four weapons against their two weapons. Okay? I always want the advantage. Now if you want to stay inside and just try your system, that's good. Me, I'd rather be outside, do less amount of work, and finish the project. Okay, let's begin. All right, line up. No, no. When they finish, oh, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not watching. I don't care what you do. So if you don't move out of the way, then he is going to bang us. You just want to do as long as you want to stay outside. Stay within the boundaries. Stay within the boundaries. But we don't care what you do. Just stay within the boundaries. No, you, you can do anything you want. Now, if you make it move, you want to how fast you can run that. It was soft. This is the game. Do you, you get in front of me? Y'all want you to move that way. So what you're here, what I'm trying to do is I have to bring up the crisis situation in the person. So I have to come at him fast enough to make him move. So I come at him and try to touch him. See what I'm saying? Now. I like your move, but if I had it been clumsy, stay, stay right there. If I had it been clumsy, most martial artists are injured by mistakes. Oops. If, I, if he had hit me and I had kept on going, I'd have ran into his leg right here, he'd have lifted away, and I'd have said, yeah, that karate stuff don't work nowhere. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to move your whole body off of that spot. Yeah, get it out of the way, because you don't want your knees or your ankles or feet Get banged, okay? Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Hey, go ahead. Do you know it? No, sir. Good. Then go ahead. Like you know. Yeah, I like the idea. Let's let it go again. Okay. Go ahead. Are they going to put it in? Okay. Is that it? Let's just stop. I want to do that thing they did too. So let's hope to the head. And start right here. And do whatever it is. That's all you do for them. Come on, work. Is that it? Okay. Don't repeat. Now you you have to do your move. Do do what you do. Okay. All right. Yeah. There you go. And what? Is that it? That's the end of the move? That's the whole 
I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I mean, that was that, that shot. I know that shot they were taking down. Okay, I'm just watching. I'm just asking the question. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. As you can see, you'll take you you'll let his momentum. Oh, very nice. Now remember that you don't have to worry because it's what they think they call committed energy in physics. If the shot is coming this way, it's going to continue this way. If it's coming this way, it's, going to, it's not going to stop and then start with the same momentum. Okay? So you're pretty much that person's pretty much done. Gordon Gay. Oh, you not moving at all. Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I thought we were doing straight, and I wasn't. Just straight shot. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Get it. Get it. Oh, there you go. You see what happens when he moves out the way? He disappears on you. Good. Somebody get on it. Oh, okay. Let us give you let us give you an example of what this looks like at full speed. You're young, right? Holy. No, oh, you're very young. I'm gonna come with this hand, I want you to go to the right. Okay? If you're going at him at full speed and you want to get his heart rate up, you have to come at him like you seriously don't like him. Okay? No, you can't start going in that direction. <laughs> Stand natural. Okay, are you ready? Let's go to the other side. Yes, sir. Ready? You want to come at him. See his, see his heart rate go up? Your heart rate, you see how his heart rate went up? That means that now he's working on survival mechanism in a crisis. His heart rate is up. Everything that happens in a crisis is physically happening to him now. Make his heart rate go up. Excuse me. Are you making his heart rate go up? Yes. Okay. Come on, make his heart rate go up. Make it go up. Go at it. Ah, oh, you missed it. Come on. All right. Come on, get with it. Get it, get it. Now, did he move? Stood right there. <laughs> Spot still is what you do. Get out the way. Go, go, come right, come right at the spot. Don't watch that. Go right at the spot. Go right down the center. We're supposed to trade. You can trade. You can trade. You can trade. You can trade. Somebody else. Took my leg. Right, you got my head in the wall. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Better. Get off the spot. Let's go. Step lateral. Step lateral. Good move. 
somebody to restrain them to even do uh, what is it? Control control. No, the thing you kill them. <laughs> Termination. Deadly force. If you are not in that particular profession, then you are a plumber, a carpenter, uh, an executive, a bus driver, something like that. You have no permission because you study a martial art to really do permanent injury to a person. You need to know what self-defense means in your individual state. Because once they found out that you are professionally trained, that your mind and body work together, that as you think it, you do it, they're going to hold you responsible. Think about it. Here's something that one of my students taught me. If you get into a conflict with somebody and you are doing self-defense and you win and you do everything right and you win, you're going to jail. The winner goes to jail in this country if you win a fight. Now, I'm not saying you're going to stay in jail a long time, but you're going to the jailhouse and explain this thing. So when you use your system, Remember, every attack is not a lethal attack. And when you use it, remember that the winner goes to jail. So go back and do your tax again. You have three minutes, and then we're out of here. Sir. Try it again. Huh? <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. Don't bring that up. Come on, get him. Ah, good move. <laughs>
very much. Thank you for participating. I hope you Okay, if I had to see you before, my name is Professor John Casper. I've been a martial artist 58 years in September. I'm 70 years old. The idea of it, what I work with, is the real world. I don't play games. I'm not out there to play games with someone. Someone trying to hurt me, I hurt them. If you sit here and say you need something grand, the only thing I do is this, and this, and this, and this, and this. So I got the choice of ego. I'll take it back. <laughs> um, I don't play. If you like playing, then don't come around me because I don't play. That's the first thing. Anytime, if he's reaching up there, they're going to take it right. gets me in a locker, or on a locker or something, you may try to you know, reverse it that fast. Anytime he touches my hand, I'll do sure. I don't do nothing. If I want to take him here, I'll take him here. Look, see, I got his little look. Look at the groin. Look at the arm. Look at the head. Take him. If you can't hit fast, you might as well go home. If someone's trying to attack me up close, I'll be more for this. That's how fast it's going. There's no such thing as two or three minutes of fighting. That's a bunch of bull. If he reaches for me, just throw a block. I don't. See what I did? You don't see me doing this. But he reaches up, don't touch me. Get on the face. If I got him here, I run. Choke him here. Damn, take his head off. That's the real world, guys. If he touches me in any way, he reaches up, I hook, join, hit. See, I've got him lost. You don't look like there's nothing there? I break. I want to break him. I do this. I want to do this. I do this. I do this, I do this. It's a flow. People don't see it. It's all done. I want to do it. Come along. I can work. I work anywhere he wants to go. If he grabs my fingers, I just move. Grab my fingers, I just move. Grab my arm, I move. Anywhere he touches me. I'm moving. Tell me I can lock your injuries to your hands, whatever. Now you want some pain. Tell them I'm nice. If you want my shit, play games. I don't play games. Everything, if you reach up to touch me, I'll just go, huh? Oh. Watch my feeling. Ah, oh, don't. He punches at me. Get out of one. I don't care what he's got. See if you punch it, I can go over these punches. Oh, don't hit me. I'm not jumping by. I don't jump by. Someone attacks me, comes in, stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, all right. All right. So we take him out. That's the real world. Somebody says, oh, that's too cruel. That's too mean. That's too tough. And you won't get hurt. Anywhere he grabs a touch. See, I don't try, I don't worry about this hand. I never block two hands on this side. I worry about that hand. You can do Aikido or something. Step back. But what happens when you're pulling it? That's what's coming at you. So if he starts to punch, second air hand comes. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like yellow tape. Now, what's in someone? I got control of it. I'm saying control of it. Control. Control. I ain't losing. That's why I'm saying it. This is it. Damn. So that goes out of this hand, too. So now I'm going to see how many wants to get up and work out. Okay, we're going to get you up. We're going to do something step one. Reach up. 
Grab a finger. I say, come on, go over here. Get up. Come around here. That's all it takes. He knocks my hand out. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to get him before he didn't do that. Watch what he did. I'll try to slow it down. He knocks it out. Go for a groin shot. Oh, hands are bent down. Now he's tight. Look. Where's he going? He ain't going nowhere. He's just using your imagination. So let's get people out. Get your partner. We do it slow. Don't get scared. I see half the women going. He grabs. Just grab two fingers in. Get the bottom of Okay? Finger walks. <laughs> Guys, you don't even have to make a line, just find a partner. One person grabs it the other. Real slow. Come on, girls. <laughs> These are good for women. These are good for women. These are good for women. I'm not recording. Instructor, but I don't do blocks. What I'm saying is I do not cross block, rising block. This stuff takes too long. My feeling is just if he's punching out, he punches fast. It's my feeling. What's my hands? You know, I'm going slow. He punches. I don't care. Go slow in the nose, guys, okay? Right. Because we don't, we don't do this, don't we? We don't do This guy's not over here. He's here. So always do it slow, stay punching out. Oh, this is my feel. I want to lock the door. What happened? So it's a feeling. It's a feeling. Everything is a feel. If you want to use two hands to block and punch something, don't get out of the face. That's my feeling. So you gotta have a feeling. He starts to punch out and I say, oh, don't do that. Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> but it's a feeling. I never block. Well, I may, but I don't realize it. Is. See, everything we're doing, we don't rehearse. No. He gets in the mouth, I get hit in the mouth. I get kicked in the groin, I get kicked in the groin. I do not know what he does. I'll just tell him to swim, grab, whatever, we do it. Simple things in between. See, oh. <laughs> that's easy when you get out of it. But no, if he does that, you the same. Right. Now don't look like that. There's no fancy stuff. Two knuckles straight up, pressure points, four inches. Um, basic stuff. He comes in, I say, fuck me, what with me. Okay? No, I ain't going over. I got control of this guy. It's what makes it work. If he punches out and you use one finger, whoa! Another kick. You see, ain't got nothing. Punch out. Whoa! Because I'm controlling. And if you use a double block, he punches out. You know, you ain't choking him there. Kick him in the back side. He starts to go down and choke him out. I want to break an elbow. I'm going to block a finger. I want to bring him back up here. I said, go back down. Boom, side of the head. He like, step on his head. Okay? So there's no pattern. Anytime you have a pattern of fighting, I don't see it. I say, please don't get mad at me. I say, oh, tell me. That's my feeling. If you like it, take it on. If you don't like it, leave it here. But if he's 
sorry, Mr. Martin. See, that's the thing. But look at the feeling of it. Quack, 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 quack. You know, quack. So I go down. Go if you want to move fast, I'll slow it down because you won't see it. <coughs> the hits here. These are hits. These are vital areas. But what I'm doing, I'm taking a person out. Okay? Now that's not necessarily killing him. You're saying, oh God, he's hitting the dope and he's killing him. People talk all the crap they want. And it's not easy to break an arm. You cannot say this is 10 pounds of breath. You're going to say two pound knives, go in shot, call up on the seven pounds, knee capture, all this stuff. But it's not that easy because a person is moving. And real fight, they're moving. They don't let you take a break of board. I can break 10 cinder blocks. Boom. I said, okay. You just broke 10 cinder blocks. Damn. That's fantastic. Break this one inch board. He said, you stupid. I just broke 10 cinder blocks. Break this board. He strikes. I go, huh? He said, well, shit, you want to hold still. I said, no, I'm not going to. That's why I'm a street fight. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Think about it. It's easy to break something that don't move. <coughs> So you don't get shot. So what I'm going to do now, watch my hand, I'm going to do something stupid, he punches out. Oh, look. I don't care if it's this, this, this. Nothing fancy. I don't like his coming in. Ah! See how chambered? He's chambered. It's 50 50 chance. Boom! If you both hit, it's a tie. So anyway, I'm going to just do this. But I mean, don't keep your hands open. Just touch. He starts strikes. Oh, shoot. Come on. Boom. I'm sorry. You're running out. He comes in, he's too flop. 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 Boom. See, if I spoil you a rough on him. Yeah, I'm a rough on him. You, if you ever been street fight, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you can dream all your life. <laughs> but baby, this is the real world. Right. When guys cut you, shoot you, it hurts. I know. I shot you up and I was fine. Anyway, he just do this, look. See that hand here? That only has to be there. Just anything. If you go like this, no, don't do that. What's your feeling? Oh, she don't do that. No. What you got to worry about second hand? Don't do that. Oh, what? Don't you do that. I'm not just telling you. You don't do that to me. Thank you. Bam. You're going to say, I'm nice to you. You ain't dead. Close to it. No. Just do that. Just get your part. Just play with it. See so this hand? I'm worried about that hand. This hand's coming. I'm just laying my hand. <coughs> Whatever, I don't know. Whatever comes. Now look, it ain't close, just touch it. The guy said, <coughs> I can pull up, but pull up. He can pull up. That took him two seconds. This, <coughs> that's two seconds. So two seconds is actually a lot of hit. Oh, so he comes in here, he comes in here, I lock, boom, boom, if I want to, boom, if I want to. I can break his hand, lock him one finger. <laughs> so, Mr. Ed, what he does Anyway, real slow, lock it out, lock it out, come in close, lay your hand there. Guys, don't be working. Girls, please, on that. That's nasty. I don't like it. Let me work. <laughs> anyway, once you get this, watch my hands. It looks easy, but I'm wrong. Look. looks easy, but I'm wrong. See that? So then you got control of it. Watch you get slow. You punch it. You're not going to do this now. Roll it. Now I can get two fingers, one finger, one other one. Or I go to no common wrist lock. That's fine. Yeah. You come along. But he can't pull in his arm. It's touching me. Every time he starts pulling, I'm going to put more pain on him. Okay? So here's all you're going to do. Do it real slow. I don't care which hand. Like, see, I don't even Commit, look. though, guys. Yeah. See, like I said, I don't even look. But anyway, I'll go slow. Doing this in this hand. That's fine. Come right under. God. You have to lose the weight, I can't get out of the stomach. Straight Take a deep breath. Okay, let's try. If he's there, just do this, this, and lock it. You want to you can do all the kicks and groin. But right now, that's all I want you to do. You pull up a little bit, 
it's very hard for him to get him out. He can get him out, but in one or two seconds, take him to get out. I'm going to take his head off or go in. So I don't know, any kind of kick him in the shin, kick him in the kneecap, bust him in the nose, spit in his face, and the vet don't get a fight, nothing more. Okay, let's try. Just <laughs> relax. Uh, so my students have to call to me. You know, I'm not, I don't do that much seminars. I just, you know, if they call me, I go. I don't go looking for it. You know what I mean? I have a lot of people. I'm going to Minnesota next week and all that stuff. But the main thing, a lot of people are scared of it because it's real. A lot of people get scared of it. But like I teach you girls, when somebody's trying to rape, hurt you, you can't play games. You hit a guy in the chest with a hard hit and he goes, what the hell is that? And that's what's going to happen. Just get one of your biggest people and hit him. Hit him in the chest. If you hit this guy in the chest, he goes, huh, okay, now, I mean, hit me. Man, okay, now I'm what? You're messed up. You're going to have to take something out. You're going to take that big boy out. Now, I'm going to show you one that looks stupid. If you ain't hard trouble, don't do this. So don't hit me. No. <laughs> anyway, all thing you do is put your hand on your head. I know most of you are all too young. Remember Pinky Lady? Used to sing Heidi. Oh, no, it's not going Anyway, it's <laughs> back where we all go. Anyway, put it beside, step straight in. You're not doing a karate. Ah, you don't need that crap. Okay, I'm going to be real slow. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to do that so that they won't get confused. I'm just going to do it slow. Put it here. Nothing. Now, it, just look at it. I'm just stepping forward my right. I'm not doing it hard. That's not hard to me. If I work a big bounce, I'm talking about 360, you know, 6'8", and I drop them just like babies because I like it because I'm small. Anyway, just it. Okay? Don't hit any girls in the breast, please, or anything like that. Start with girls. And don't. It's according to what you look like. Anyway. Keep it right here. Be nice. Be gentle. Don't overhit. I'm telling you, I've, I've knocked guys that will flutter your heart right now. I mean, he may start swinging right or something. I'm like, bam! Now you swing I see. Say, I didn't feel that. I'm being honest. I didn't feel what I wanted to feel. I felt like I'm going to try to do it wrong. I felt that too. Like, so I just do this thing. I may add something else. One arm bar and we'll snap it up. It's just no, like I said, no pattern or anything. It's nothing. See what I'm saying? Everybody tries to think of what you're doing. Don't think of nothing. I said, well, I don't know nothing. Yes, you do. You know how to scratch someone's eyes, how to hit them in the groin, how to bust them in the nose? That's what you feel. Because you don't get time to say, I was taught, like a kick, get the groin, hit him in the mouth, hit him in the neck. If you take that long, you're going to be a trail you may just say block, 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 block that. That's it. I don't know what I was going to do. I may just block, boom, boom. So I don't know. So don't have a feel. You've got to have a feeling. Okay? Let's go through that, please. Just step in. Very good. The business card is going to be useful. Pass out the card. Yes. 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 call something. I'm yeah. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to get something simple. Uh, see, you don't know what I'm going to do. I'm serious. That's why a lot of times, you know, I'll overheat or something. I don't mean to. It's just, if I don't feel the right angle, I go to another angle or something. Yeah, I'll do it real slow. So I'm just going to do this. Okay, next time. Now watch. I'm going to salute. Hello. Now, he's not faking. I'm not going to crap out of Because I hit my people hard. Higher ranks. Lower ranks, hell, they leave before I get up to the black belt. Anyway, no. You punch out, block, bam! Now look how I did this. You don't see me doing this, slow motion. You don't see me doing this, watch these blocks. Block this thing. If you don't block it, you don't hit it. Now when I tell them block it, they don't block it. I hit them hard. I know you Okay, but I want you to see, I'm slowing it down so you can see. If you do this, if you come way out here, he sees it. So you telegraph. If you're here and you do a little short one, see, well, I see, I didn't, see, I do so many things, I didn't have a going shot no shoot. Okay, I'll try to slow down. Boom, you did a salute. Okay, uh, most of you call it bridge hand, okay? But watch my hand. Block it, hit But watch, watch how my block is. It's nothing fancy, it's just like, God. Can I? See, I don't get scared. If I can hit the mouth, guys, it's tough. 
I'll just come back, fix it up, wipe the blood off. I'll say, damn, John, you missed that. I don't get mad at him. Yeah, right. I'm going to be <laughs> Anyway, here and here. But you see how quick it is? Slow motion. What? Bam! Okay? So, you can add a lot to this. He comes in, boom, boom. See now, his hand, look at his head. I don't step out of range. Most people steps out, no. If you step out of range, it gives him time to chamber or come back. I may just throw my shoulder up, now look at my elbow, bam. See, I'm, I'm not doing the rest of it, 50 other things you do. But watch my feeling, it's just here, here. He, he kind of, I may use a groin shot, now he's lower. I may have to turn straight in. I'm not doing no big time wrestling. It's what most of us, you see, y'all practice, you don't want to get hurt. So and y'all going, ah, 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 that's crap, this works, this works, see what I'm saying, that is what does, most all of you know back fists, all right, and you know your back fists, how fast your hands are, watch my hands, and I'm across my hands, like I said, I'm 70 years old, I'm no youngster, but watch my hands, I'm going to smack his face block. Look, if I touch him, that means I'll take his eyes out. But look how fast my hands are. You know what's fast? It's well, not backhand. It's backhand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Brock, I'm going to go this way. All right, go walk. See, it didn't. See, I'm hitting him, so that's no good. That hurts me. I'll go home and cry tonight because of that. <laughs> anyway. But what's the feeling? Punch it out. Get down the way and just salute. Yeah. Tension! That's all you do. Try it real quick. We ain't got much time. Sir. Uh, I'm going to just do something. So he grab me the bear hug. Yeah, anyway. See, if he's got you, guys, say. Okay. Hold on. Can you hear me now? Okay. 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 Let's do something for you. Okay. Okay, if he goes out of the arms, you know, everybody thinks this is easy to get out of. It is, like I said, some people say, I know you can hit the kidneys, you can do the groin shot, and you're But, if you've ever been in a lady's spot where she's 110 pounds, you're 200, you grab her, it's not that easy. You say, I can kick you in the groin. But when they close up, get it close. I think I'm in love, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, the thing with it is, like I say, you do all these in the kidneys, this is easy. But the simplest thing is this. Yeah. It's something simple. You don't have to know no martial arts. You don't try to chop them because the tighter he start tightening. I can't swing because it hurts. But he's, he's tight as hard as he wants. I say, what are you doing? Don't me. Let's try it real quick. Hurry. Okay, okay let's do it. He's reaching or whatever. He does this. That's your feeling. You gotta, if you don't get a feeling, guys, you'll never be a martial artist. I mean, he grabs me and I go, oh my God! That's what you feel like. <laughs> he reaches up. Don't touch me. Oh. Don't touch me. It's my feeling. You mean something? Get away from me. <laughs> if you don't have a feeling, you know, it's just like, oh, what, 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 what's this guy, where's he at? Oh, there you are. How'd you get over it? But the thing it is, when he's reaching out, it's a feeling. Ah, oh, don't, 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 don't do this. Oh, don't, please, don't bother me. Leave me alone. But you see, 911. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> called 911. <laughs> this is what people don't understand. They say, oh, John, I like your stuff. You do this, you do that. I got a feeling. I got a feeling I don't know about it. it hurt me. That's my first feeling. I just got a new hearing aid. It keeps jumping out. I get in trouble. I turn it down so I can't hear the fight. <laughs> anyway, so when he reaches up, you can do this easy. I'm just showing these different things to block. This. Kind of feeling reaches up. 
this, you eat just faster, this, if you want to get hard, this, if you want to get hard, this. See, always go for, watch my hand, he's my hand. I was going to do this, but anyway. Yeah, hey, it's three stooges. Hey, on. <laughs> yeah, watch three stooges. And I'll do it slow mo, don't hurt him this time. You see how I start, if I start to punch, what happens? Knee, elbow, nose, aren't you grabbing there? Step on the side of the strong and tough. You just got to be accurate where you hit. That's why I don't miss. Yeah, right. <laughs> but if he comes in to grab me, I may just go, oh, I'm sorry about that. Don't you run. Bam. <laughs> See what I'm saying? I got a finger lock. I've got to slow it down. I know what I do. I just do it. Bam. But look, he starts pulling with my hands. I'm touching. If I touch it, I've got something. See what I'm saying? He reaches up, he starts to pull, oh, oh, bam, bam. See, it's just step in and say, huh? You break. That's my drum. So don't think of something fancy. He comes in on you, hey, leave me alone. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't feel nothing, did you? Bam, did you feel something? No, I didn't feel nothing. Everybody say, God, you're so mean, you're so... Not mean, I just got common sense. Don't bother me. Okay? So this is simple things. Think of something simple. Anything you do. That's like when he grabs up and you say, you can't grab a man's hand. They're full of crap. He says, oh, you can't grab my hand. Okay, pull it back, I ain't gonna grab it. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, so I just did it, broke his tail, I broke his nose. But watch what happened. He pulls back, I go with the flow. He could have hit me with that one. See his hand come around? Could get you. So I don't know what he's going to do. If he comes in one or two, one or two, I may do this. See, I go sideways, one or two, and I may just say, what? See what I did? I'll do it slowly. You saw it? It's when they break, I don't know that hard. To come up. God, he's tall. It's pretty down my size. Thank you. <coughs> So I got him here. But look, look at all the things you could do. So I'm covering my groin too. I'm not just sitting there. So anytime you get a person down, say he reaches up and I grab him and I got him down. You just grab by the hair, step on his back. You can go call the police. This guy's my hand. Quick pat. Double pat. See how much my people take pain? You learn one thing in your life, you can't take pain, you cannot give pain. And you better get it in your mind. That's why you boxers, you think they don't get hit, get the crap beat out of them? If they couldn't take pain, you couldn't do it. So I'm going to leave this. Do you like George? Yeah. What? Yes, yeah. sir. What? <laughs> yes, sir. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You may. Most of you guys are martial artists. Martial arts is different than a tactical application. <coughs> Most of us think martial arts are war arts. Over time, what's happened is they become arts. So they're not what we actually do with tactical application. It's not what we do as law enforcement. It's not what we do as security. It's not what we do as military. We don't have the time to do it. And people tell me, oh, you couldn't do this in a short amount of time. And I go, you're absolutely correct. Some of the stuff I teach my guys, people go, that's way too simple. So I want you to understand when I'm doing some of the stuff out here uh, over the past time. We've had some of the guys, new tactical guys, come talk about this is what we do short term. Short term means they give me six hours. I don't know how much of your art you can impart to someone in six hours, but I have to not only impart it, they have to use it in combat and they have to come home. That's a different thing. It's not like my regular students who are with me for years and I can keep building on it. 
One of the things that we tend to forget as martial artists is what will the body do? We dream up whole bunches of cool motions. A lot of it are not what your body can do under duress. Anybody who's a shooter, anybody who does tactical law enforcement understands. You get tacky psyche time distortion. Okay, you get tunnel vision and you immediately lose fine motor skills. That means all most of the stuff we train ourselves to do, we cannot do under duress. And we have what we call three speed brains and two speed body. The rest, you can drop down to complex. You don't drop all the what we call gross simple motor skills. Unfortunately, with our three speed brains, we got two speed bodies. Our bodies only have fine and gross. So while all of you, that's why you watch trained people get flustered on the street because they're trying to do a fine motor skill, they're able to take the next level complex and their bodies already drop down to. I can only do simple things, gross motor skills. Most of what I do is based on what is my body designed to do. My arm can close from high to low. It opens coming back horizontal. Can I do it in a downward vertical? Those are the same skills that all of you have learned over time to protect yourselves. Protect your head, push away, push away. So it's your horizontal, your diagonal, and your vertical. The other thing, no offense to anybody and their stepping or the way they move their feet. One of the, any of you who are parents will know this. I'm a parent. The first time my child took a step, I was really excited. That's the hardest skill you have ever learned as a human being is bipedal locomotion, stepping. You are not trained to skip, hop, pivot, swivel, or do any of those things. That is not what you are capable of doing. You are capable of stepping. When I put a gun to your head and there's noise going around you and your partners have blood all over, you watch pieces flying, I guarantee you can step. You can't hop, you can't pivot, you can't swivel, but you can certainly step because that's the one thing all human beings do. We can step. One last little bit. Those of you who do sports, if you've always heard, I move my hand and my body follows. <coughs> If Thomas and I are out there and I move and I tap him as he taps me, and you got a camera, whoever tapped who first won, even <coughs> dueling. If we both, I stab him, he stabs me, we die. You guys, oh, there's a guy with the camera right there. He looks and he goes, hey. We look at the picture and go, oh, Bram actually stabbed Thomas first. So my guys go collect from Thomas's guys. Doesn't matter if we're both dead. In a tactical situation, your body's slow, you move it off the line first. Your hands are so fast, they'll make up the distance. Because if I'm pointing, if there's a firearm pointed at me, and I try to move my hand first and bet, and I'm not a betting guy, I just lost the 20 bucks I bet in Vegas while we're out in the tactical. If I go to bet on it, and I don't move offline, I'm dead. If I move my body offline first and then bring my hand there, well, Sam's dead, but not me collateral damage, we don't care. Sort of what's beyond your target, all right? Uh, one little blip, some of you knew I designed the good thing, the knife of the ears, a new version of it, the lock a lock with a folder. It's lighter, faster, teeth on it, grabs better. Uh, we have some in the back table. I don't have enough for us to play with, so I'm just going to go to what I just finished teaching at a copper tactical, and what we were teaching over in Afghanistan and Iraq, just real basic, what we call modular. <coughs> Pardon me, just uh, two seconds off. The most important thing in speaking is the fact that we got standard. That's most of the world, right to right. It's like 90% of the world. I have everyone go, what do you have to worry about the left-handed guy? Well, the left-handed guy that I'm worried about is the good guy. I don't care less about the left-handed bad guy. Good guy, left-hander. How do I deal with 90% of the world, the right-hander? We call it backwards. And it's not being left-handed. It's being left-handed in a right-handed world. How do I fit within a right-handed motion? The reason I mean that is a lot of you have seen where guys try to blend or merge with energy. That takes training. Caveman is I intercept it and just bang it. That's the same thing I do with my left hand. We intercept it. The other thing, I'll turn Thomas around. Some of you remember that I tend to beat on him a lot. The inside of his armor, his, his flexors, that's what I want to cut. That's what I want to injure. I injure his flexors, he can't pull his fingers. That means he can't detonate a bomb, he can't shoot 
a gun, he can't hold a knife, he can't grab it. If I'm left-handed to a right-hander, I'm coming to the outside where his extensors are. I do absolutely nothing to stop his hand. In case you don't know it, bad guys only have three weapons. Two arms, one leg. Because when you get rid of a leg, you're a gimp. Gimps don't fight really well. They don't move really well. They can drag across the battlefield all they want. I'm a happy camper. If you injure one leg, by the way, that leg does not support you or kick. Like people go, oh, I'll kick with the other leg. No, you won't. I took that one leg out. You got one leg, two arms. It's like Monty Python and the Holy Grail, the Black Knights. You know? Come closer, it's only a flesh wound. So our second position, backwards. Mirror image left to left is rarely going to happen. That's 10% of the time. That's left to left. I only use it so right-handers understand what a left-hander thinks about. It. Last position of importance. Good guy right hand to a natural left hander. Only going to happen 10% of the time. So my two most important things are what we call standard and backwards. Because I want all of us left handed guys to survive against the right hander. Most of you probably know some broad or some kind of basic drill like it. It's still basically the same thing except when Thomas cuts at me with a one, instead of just cutting and bailing, I just step and intercept it. I don't know if you guys know what a knife is. A knife is a matter separator. If I just cut at Thomas, I don't guarantee how deeply I cut. I'm not making the best use of this edge. The longer the edge is in contact, the deeper it will cut. Flailing at him really quickly, I'm barely catching him with the tip. I don't guarantee how much I cut. If I stick it there and place it on him and I draw it either direction, now i got to cut. And in worst case, I've stopped his motion. And if just even push on, you see it's leaving a line, and that's a trainer. If it was live, I'd have something. So one of the things you want to do is I want the edge to be there, not fast. All I have to do when he comes at me is stick the tool up and intercept it. I can take my time to drag it across and make sure it's cut. <coughs> and if you cut vegetables, you know, you, everyone thinks about cutting heel, what we call heel to toe. Well, when you reach out and make point and touch, that's the same thing as cutting veggies on a cutting board. Tip goes first, and I cut to the back. Toe to heel. Toe to heel, that means all I get is reach out and touch him in any way and slide forward. That cuts just as good, and then I can take it back off and get my secondary cut. When we're cutting in here, if those of you know Sobrata, when I feed what would be the normal, so here's my first, high to low. That's how my body works. High to low when I feed it, and Thomas goes to stop it. He's intercepting me, and he's going to cut my fingers off. He stepped his body out of the way, because if before, if he just puts his hand there, we're betting hand speed and I cut him. Cuts my hand, feeds back. Most of you have seen umbrella or roof block, two different versions. If it's a roof block, like some people do with a stick, it makes no difference. People translate the same. This, I turn back, that's my own wrist. Please understand, the tool doesn't know good guy from bad guy. So I'm in the hole. I do not do what most people get used to do in spreading my arms because he's going to lay that right through my face. If when I got here I intercept it and I'm actually stepping off line, I don't care. My head used to be there. I stick my hand in to control his face, his hand, his tools, shift his body, and I shift with my whole body and the tool. Then I feed it to him and we'll start over. So I only have three moves. Now for those of you who are left-handed, it'll be the same thing. I intercept, I cut, and feed it. He checks it, I do the same position, right hand, right hand, left hand. Right hand, left hand, tell, I can't even tell, I started out wrong. Check it, that's a one. Same motion, no two, you don't have to have the same label, because when I'm teaching the guys, they have to be able to pick it up. Left hand, right hand. Cut, please. I would intercept and cut. Left hand, still moving myself off and cut and still feed. All right? If any of you would like to do this, I have a bunch of trainers. Anybody want to play on here before I go? Right, you got, you got 30 more minutes. You got to keep talking. Yeah, I'm going to. I just want to see if they get, go grab some tools. You guys can do it along with me. The basic motion, because I'm going to do it backwards. Left, good guy left, bad guy right, is I'm offline. I do not care if you step forward or you step back because I can't tell what will happen. 
All right, guys, tell me all you're too crowded. What do I do? You've stepped your whole life. You decide where you want to step forward or back. I can't. I panic. I just pick up and hit them. That, you know, natural skill, panic, pick your arm off. The other thing is if you put your hand there, knife and hand at the same time, Thomas may be kind and let me do that. If he pushes at me and I go to panic and pull my blade, it's my own hand in the way. That's why I want you to intercept, put your hand there when the blade's not there and then feed it. Let him, if he wants to argue about hand and blade, stick him. Don't put your own hand in front of the blade. You'll be very unhappy. I speak from experience. say you pass it and the guy won't be there. Don't worry. Throw it out to Outer Mongolia. If he throws me out of Mongolia and I turn, sorry, and I drop my elbow on inside him before he can move, you go, oh, no problem. Send it out. Waslik, pass it. That works as long as the guy lets his whole arm go. You pass it and the guy used to being in close and just turns his elbow. It's over. I've had guys go, just check it. That looks real good in class. If I really have intent, I slide under. In class, you go, oh, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It represents a blade. You get hit with a stick, okay, no repercussion. You get hit and go, oh, the training knife is the same as a stick, no repercussion. It is not. Blue guns, red guns, they represent real firearms. Our bladed weapons, when we have them, I don't care if they're plastic, aluminum or wood represent real blades. If you try to stop someone with intent where they can slide under and hit you, and it only works because your partner cooperates in class, it's dead on the battlefield. It's dead on the street. I think people go, why do you just drop your arm? If Thomas just drops his arm. Kate drops caveman style. Oh, I can't get through that. That's caveman style. Because there's a barrier up his thumb. Guess what? I'll cut it out here. Does he have to do anything? Absolutely not. But if he puts it on me, granted it's out of context, I start learning about get off line. Because if I stay with this on me and go to move, oh, this is a tie. Pardon my language, ties suck. I don't want a tie. I don't want to worry about whether we both go home. I want to go home. I want him getting a toe tag. Or maybe he's got to go get a lot of rehab. Same thing on a four, I look at you, oh, I'm going to try to cut him. So while we're arguing testosterone up here about who's stronger, he's cutting my belt. He's cutting my parts. If I said, what do you do? We're going to joint lock and he smacked the guy in the face. Everyone, how brutally, you know, what are you doing? Well, the guy let go. I realize that's what not, most of us don't want to hear, but sometimes simplicity works. When you have a tool which amplifies force and makes work easier, do not think that you can beat a tool. What makes human beings so cool is we have an opposing digit and four fingers, and we're tool users. 
And a lot of times we've learned how to take our tool usage to empty hand in martial arts because it's become a tradition to make ourselves better, to understand the way, to understand a mindset. And we forget that it has nothing to do with tool usage and survival. Because if all of our stuff worked, all of us would be paid. We would be out there in the military and would carry no rifles, no guns, no knives. We'd be out there with empty hand. Matter of fact, we wouldn't worry. We'd send people out to arrest people on the street. Most of my gang officers have so much freaking body armor on them, you'd go, oh, they look like knights from the old days. But of course, we all know I can teach them empty hand and they could take out anybody on the street. Uh, so in this, this basic motion, this is the simplest motion, just, again, left-handed, <coughs> to be able to survive. I can do this with a long gun, a short gun, a stick. Because and the thing is, like I said, we have the full training program, which helped go along with it. Look, all of you know that if I pick up and cover my head, it's the easiest thing. Any of you have children already know, children hammer. All of you are martial artists, you'll understand this. They come in my school, they have for many years, everybody wants to hammer. You gotta teach them how to punch. Punching is a learned skill. Hammering is a gross instinctive skill. Every, my mother told me stories that I used to hammer with a toy hammer, she'd take it away, I hammered with the pliers. Took the pliers away, I hammered with a screwdriver. And I remembered that and promptly forgot it until my daughter was born. And everything she picked up, she hammered with. I was a stay-at-home dad. They drop all the other kids off. They all hammered with everything. I started teaching martial arts full-time. What happened? Everybody hammers. I find people, can they do martial arts? No, but I see them at home. They can use a hammer. Hammering is a gross, instinctive skill. We all hammer. That means I don't have to do anything to teach you how to hammer. So when you think you're going to die and you want to pee on your pants, there's noise all around, you don't know what to do, and the attack comes in, if I pick up, I can hammer. <coughs> now I'm picking on Thomas because he's sort of used to in case I hammer too hard, it doesn't matter. His hands are mine. So you can hammer. But that's the same thing. If he's got a plate armor on, I can hammer. I can hammer anywhere on his limbs and hammer. Because any of us can do that. If I add to it, can you pick your hands up, protect your head? Yes. If I ask you, can you be a wimp and paw at something? Most of you who are testosterone driven go, I'm not a wimp, I wouldn't paw at it. But if I say, can you paw a jab? Every single one of you go, yeah, I can catch a jab, I can catch a cross. If I threw a ball at you, whether you caught or not, you get your hands up in front of your face. That's all I ask, because if he's a bad guy and brings it to me, that's what he's gonna run into. You probably heard that thought. The next part is, if I can thunk him a few times, people watch me do limb destructions. Where's Rafi? Rafi in here? He just went to class. He just went to plug. Where's, is Lewis? Where's Lewis? Right here, sir. Oh, okay. You ask any of the guys who didn't do Filipino arts and say, oh, can you go ahead and catch and do a limb destruction? We go, yeah, while we're on the floor. Because when the limb is flying out there, it's really hard to catch it. Now, he'll let me catch it. He's my student. But if I want to catch it, I just have to ram him a few times then that hand coming at me is slow enough that I can catch it. That's generally I have the bad guys on the street. I let them throw a few hands at me, and then I just have to pick up. Because after they run into it a few times hammering, because it's a non-lethal tool, then you can be inside. Some of you have seen people do swing the eight. This is designed that it's open upon impact. I can then use the tool to control him. I can use the tool to control him. I can use the tool to walk behind and go, sir, both hands and cuff him. If I need to, I can check him. I can undo his belt, which you'll be unhappy with. You can check his pockets. And if you need him to sit, to go down, all you have to do is bring him behind his knees and go, Sir, I need you down. Then you can walk all the way up and go, Sir, down. Thomas is getting old because Yeah. I know he's getting old, but he doesn't get beat up enough. <laughs> From open, because I usually it's a non lethal tool, you can proceed to talk about, well, yeah, where do you want your hands? <laughs> But the opening, it, I own the patent on kinetic, it just means it opens, just like a turnstile. And if you live where there's a subway, my grandfather used to give me the tokens and I'd push in the subway and smack me in the butt. I always remember, because I kept the faster I went, the faster it hit me. The faster, not hard, the faster you touch this, the faster it opens. Kinetic stored energy. Mass times energy squared. Velocity squared gives you the time, this opening. I can shut it back down again. You can grab with it. Any of you guys who do grabbing stuff, you can grab a thumb, go down. 
you can use the top of the ramp to bring them in for control. If you need them to turn around, you stick your finger, the ramp in his chest, and turn them around. It's a really cool tool. The first one that I showed you years ago didn't have teeth on the bottom, so when he checked your hand, it slid. The new one, as you can see from the look on his face, has teeth on it. So it makes it just a little better, so you can grab them. Most of my tools are full force continuum tools, non-lethal, or less than lethal, lethal, and then back down again. And on that note, can I be done? Thank you very much. Давали огромный привет и лучшие пожелания всем участникам данного мероприятия. Before I get started, I'd just like to say that we have fond wishes from everybody in Russia right now. All the people who are in the army, all the people who are training in martial arts, millions of people right now. They all wish you much success and good health here as you participate in this weekend's events. Покажем систему ROS, ее в нескольких вариантах. What we hope to do for you this evening is give you a few different variations from the ROS training system. Первый вариант это как система подготовки, подготовки суставов, мягкости и пластичности. We're going to start actually with just more some warm-up types of things, things you can use to warm up your joints, to get loosened up, and a little bit for flexibility. Вся система самозащиты, нападения, контрнападения э, тренируется, отрабатывается по принципу волна. One of the most important principles is the principle of the wave. And in order to defend against strikes, to deliver strikes, you need to be able to be loose so that you can use this wave principle. Для этого надо уметь владеть своим телом. И uh, уметь посылать волну, uh, уметь пластику, туловище, то есть уметь владеть телом. In order to do any of these exercises, you really need to have a little bit of understanding of how your body works. You need to be able to move your body to stay very loose and uh, plastic, which is a term that's used a lot in Russia, so that you can do these movements uh, like a wave. Сейчас мы вам покажем несколько вариантов по принципу вот этой волны. So what we're going to do is we're going to just show you a few basic principles based on this wave motion. Как она применяется? So this is how you can use it. К примеру, делается любой захват. So this is any type of grab. Мы посылаем волны, закручиваем. То есть все время выгоняем вот такие волны. Вот сюда перекрутили и чуть-чуть можно встали и повели. Did you get that? Вот если был такой захват, значит может быть сюда удар. So just like with a grab, you can also use the grab. Наша задача уметь защититься волной. Our task is to be able to defend using this movement. То есть, умеем, кстати, слово. Удар наносится тоже волной. The strike is given also from this wave. Задача uh, вовремя поймать руку. Okay, at the same time that you engage the strike. И как только мы ее поймали, в противовес посылается рука. So at the same time you grab the strike, you're continuing through the wave for your own strike. Если идет двойной удар, мы не успеваем. Вот, раз. И вторая. Два. Идет вторая. Раз. Идет вторая. Два. То есть вот эта вот волна дает нам возможность защищаться. So this wave motion is going to give you the ability to defend yourself in a continuous action as it goes one to the other. Сейчас я продемонстрировал волну сверху вниз и защиту снизу вверх. And this uh, is actually using the wave to demonstrate from top to bottom and from the side to the side. 
So this same wave motion we use with a kick instead of a strike. <coughs> and just very light motion. You're always moving this in around yourself. So one hand or one wave is going to move to the side and the other wave is going to follow through <coughs> slower. So that's the variation that we'll start out with. Who wants to try it? Alright, so here we have this graph. Not simply up and down. Watch the arm. Shoulder, then elbow. So as you do this, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and as you're doing just a little bit, pulling in. And at that moment, when it's right, you can move. So this you can actually use as a, a force vector that you're following through. It doesn't have to be this one thing, it can be a strike as well, when they did on, uh, onto the side. Okay, now watch with this arm. Okay. Watch again. Grab the hand. Wave with this arm. Mm. 
And that could be uh, painful, pain compliance. All right, you can also try this. <coughs> Okay. Ah. Okay. 
две ноги. Мы заклиниваем ногу. And we're going to drive onto the leg. Маленькое движение. Вот здесь. Very small movement. Второе движение. Second movement. Если два движения соединяем. And now we do the two motions, one on the other. Это тоже один из вариантов, который мы уже делали. И продолжение идет. Вот это вот волна. Нога тоже волна. И эта же волна. Also, where То есть мы за счет вот этих вот волн. И когда нам наносит удары. And we're going to be able to begin moving him around. Right now, let's say we're grabbing behind. Мы растерялись, сил нету. Волна. Обязательно плечо. Shoulders, absolutely necessary. Mm. Very strong grip. Shoulders. This wing follows through. Again, two wings. Nice and slow. Вот за счет этих волн подготовки тела можно очень хорошо сбивать. And again, with this way, I can be thrown. Okay, we're going to try this again as we release from the grasp. Alright, we're going to take one small step. This way. And use your elbows to lift out. And there's another way. <laughs> All right, let's try. Okay, here's another thing that we want to share with you. так называемая работа по осям вращения. Right. These are some elements that you can use working around the axis of rotation. Point of rotation. Right. If you can see where the point of rotation is, your axis. If you don't see, if you can't see where the axis of rotation is, or if we have two arms, we do we're going to use an axis of rotation with our other hand. First variation, wave. And 
начинать following the way. А сейчас поиск вращения, которую не видно. Вот где-то, например, вот здесь. И мы вот рукой, рукой просто поворачиваем. Если взять образно ключ, вот ключ в дверь. Вот этот поворот оси дает нам дополнительную силу. And this is going to be a supplemental force. Mm -hmm. So it could be here. What's the here? Also, I don't think it was That's all right. <laughs> Это очень важно. Right, вот когда нам наносят удар, right, и мы прозевали, мы чувствуем, что если мы знаем вот эту uh, uh, систему осей вращения, за счет короткого проворота какой-нибудь части тела мы можем Например, вот Вот это вот. Вот это вот. 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 И быть, э, ну, есть, э, ну, копашный. And it's not necessarily hand -hand -hand -hand. Uh, Нам наносит удар. Right, oh. Опять же, Again, Если мы пойдем... Идет время. That takes too much time. А здесь мы его накручиваем. And here we're just rotating around. Идет нога. Идет нога. Right, here comes a kick. Та же самая. Вот это вот вращение. Дает возможность сбивать ноги, как тут, так и здесь. И еще хотелось бы оси вращения нож. Нож есть? И сразу не зарезали. Значит, от нас что-то хотят. Вот этот вопрос, что-то от нас хотят, мы должны его растянуть. Есть много вариантов. Мы предлагаем вот такой. Не отрывать. Опять ось вращения. Прижать нож. Грудью создать движение вперед и уйти в сторону. Вести его. Это же вариант. Здесь очень важно. Не надо брать вот так. Просто прижать руку okay. и грудью подать вперед. Пару сил, два движения. Одно вперед, одно назад. Или мы его сюда роняем. Или вот наша волна. Мы его забираем точно таким же способом. Мы его ведем. Еще раз посмотрите. Мы соединяем здесь уже два закона. Okay. Ось вращения и волна. 
Rotation and weight. <laughs> и сюда. Можем вести. Или вот сюда. И последний здесь вариант. Мы уводим вот сюда. И вот простым движением. Вот это вот три варианта. Они у нас сюда проходят. Если нам наносят удар, Пропускаем. 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 И те же самые забираем. Движение идет все время прямо. И мы его пропускаем все время, но закручиваем, управляем. По вектору нанесения удара. Вектор силы. Точно так же вторая рука. Вот Она идет волной. Она добивает. Опять мы соединили два вопроса. Ось. И волна. Тем самым мы подводим итог нашего занятия к тому, что вот есть осевая работа. Okay. Есть волновая. And also one with the rotation, one with the weight. Ну и еще раз спасибо за внимание. Я очень рад, что я наконец-то приехал и видел много друзей. Я очень соскучился. И мы всех, кто пожелает, ждем в России. And give you my wishes and thanks for being here. After several years of not being around, glad to be back and seeing lots of faces I've known from before. And we invite you to come join us in Russia. Bless you all. There's a member of our council here. Where is my? We're going to start with something simple. Uh, we're going to do some participation sports in this. Is that safe? Right? Mm -hmm. And it's just a simple handshake here. This is a, a sign of respect, a sign of uh, understanding. Uh, time of World War II, it became a weapon against the U.S. Of course, the Japanese are friends of ours now. But, <laughs> but back then, we used, they used this as a weapon. What we're going to do is from here, you take hands with two hands down, here, walk, and you break the arm this way. Okay, what you're doing here, pressure's right on the thumb. Down, pressure down here. Again, good. Shake, down, break, <coughs> in this manner, okay? Let's go ahead, walk. We're working through it, okay? Can we have some of you for this place?